If you've worked in FL Studio for a bit, you're no doubt familiar with the assortment of built-in virtual instruments, as well as the thousands of third-party plugins you can load into Compose with for nearly an eternity. But if you're looking to bring live guitar into your compositions and don't quite know where to start, stay tuned. I'll be using a Focusrite 18i20 for this example, but any audio interface featuring an instrument level 1 quarter inch TRS input will equally get you started. I find the Focusrite Scarlet Solo to be a great and inexpensive option if you're looking to get started on a budget, but there are several other brands and options available out there that can suit live recording just as well. Hopping over to my interface, I'm going to connect, in my case, to input number one. I'm also going to set the input to unbalanced instrument level. Additionally, as a measure to prevent my input signal peaks from nearing, or worse, exceeding 0 dB going into FL Studio, I'm going to enable the pad option here, which will decrease my signal level by 10 dB. You can see my signal level has dropped to a safer level. I could also forego this option by instead making use of an external mono direct box. With my interface connection set up, let's jump into FL Studio and assign our guitar insert. To keep things nice and concise, I'm going to select Insert 1 and choose Mono Input 1 as my desired audio input. By default, my monitoring is enabled whenever my insert is armed, as you can see here. Deselecting this option will disable my live input. We'll keep this armed in preparation of recording. All that's set to do now is toggle song mode, click the record button, hit play, and jam on. <laughs> 